In the previous video, we learned about the usage of curly braces to bind text to the UI. What you have to keep in mind about binding text is that strings are inserted as plain text. So HTML characters have no special meaning. Sometimes though, we might have to render real HTML in the browser. A possible use case is when a user is asked to fill a form where one of the fields is a rich text editor. The user would be allowed to bold or italicize the input. And if you want to display that input value, let's say in a read only mode, you need to render the value as HTML with the bold tags, font colors and whatnot. In such a scenario, we can use the at HTML prefix within curly braces. Let's take a look at an example. Let's say we have a data property whose value is a string enclosed within bold tags. Let's add a new constant, const channel, and this is going to be equal to code evolution, but within a pair of bold tags. If we try to bind this data to our markup with curly braces, you can see that the value gets rendered as plain text. The bold tag is also rendered in the UI. To render proper HTML, we add the at HTML prefix. So within the curly braces, at HTML as a prefix before channel. Now, if you save the file and take a look at the browser, we have the channel name rendered in bold. Like I mentioned, you would at least once in a complex project come across the need to render HTML in the browser. And this is the way to go about it. Now there is a word of warning though. When you use the at HTML prefix, it is very important to keep in mind that you should only render the content that you trust. If you're using a third party API, it is very risky to use the HTML prefix because it might lead to cross-site scripting attacks, making your application vulnerable to security threats. Let me show a very simple scenario, which could cause anxiety for your users. I'm going to copy paste a new constant within the script section. The so const hack, which is simply an anchor tag on click of which you alert the text you have been hacked. The anchor text itself is win a prize. If we now bind this to the markup using the HTML prefix, so at HTML, hack, save the file, head to the browser, you can see that when I click this win a prize link, I get an alert, you have been hacked. Of course, we as developers know this is a simple alert. But for a user browsing your site, this is definitely not favorable. Also, hackers are capable of injecting much worse threats into your site than a simple alert dialog. So use the at HTML prefix to render real HTML, but be very cautious of what you're rendering. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.